I'll keep an eye on this area in here because you can see there's a little clockwise circulation. This batch of moisture pushing to the southwest, our batch of moisture to the southwest. I think this little bubble high gets kicked out. This one may be shoved back to the west a little bit. If it does, then our flow pattern over the coming weeks is going to be more from the Gulf. We've been getting these little waves that move inland, and every time we get them, all we do is enhance what's along the Gulf Coast, and they can get into the Brazos Valley. But if we can keep the moisture in here, a moist atmosphere is a little slower heating. So we're going to have to just watch. I don't think we're going to get too much in the way of showers. It's kind of nice to get these guys, but you can see how they come in from the northeast. The only danger from storms like these, their garden variety, if one of them collapses, they can create quite an outflow uh, boundary, and that's about it, other than poor driving conditions. But we're seeing less than we did yesterday. And where they got the heavy weather yesterday, you know, we had that big cluster down the south east where we had uh, the southeasterly flow and the north flow come together but we're in pretty good shape these guys have been moving in from the northeast this area up here is pushing off toward the hill country and we're going to see all of them kind of dissipate here as we move through the rest of the evening the winds have been kind of sustained from the northeast and east northeast a few wind gusts vicinity of the showers you can see georgetown had 35 mile an hour wind gusts hillsboro 18 and as we move through the night we just lose the clouds and showers and see that temperature come on down into the 70s generally in the middle 70s across the area then tomorrow we add some clouds may get a sprinkle or two not too much in the way of a thunderstorm storm possibility. Overnight tonight we'll take it down that 74, the showers end, the decreasing clouds, a light east wind 5 to 10 miles per hour, 95 big tomorrow, the showers, basically a rain shower, isolated to widely scattered, so very much spotty, hit and missers, but you still have to kind of keep an eye on the driving conditions. Winds will be east, trying to get back to the southeast, and then on our seven day, primarily go with the little isolated shower on the weekend. I think generally partly cloudy. We'll have to watch these winds. If we can get set up with a good Gulf flow, then you'll have a little more humidity. And possibly by next weekend, we'll get a little bit of an increased chance of showers. But right now it looks basically hot and dry. And we're going to just play like it's summer here in Central Texas. No big changes, Chris. All right, Bill. Thanks so much.